Incumbent Jennifer Wexton wins her election in Virginia, keeping that 10th congressional district Democrat, beating GOP newcomer Hung Cow. The candidates leaned in on being polar opposites. News Force Drew Wilder spoke with Representative Wexton after her win tonight. Democratic Congresswoman Jennifer Wexton absolutely ecstatic out here in Ashburn tonight, going back to Congress for a third term as she defeats Republican challenger Hung Kao. Now, there's still a few votes out there still to count, but projections have her with a six-point win. Just take a listen to the way this room erupted when Wexton came out earlier for her victory speech. During her speech, Wexton thanked her supporters. She congratulated her opponent, Hung Kao, who has already called to congratulate her on her victory. She said that she is very proud of the bipartisan infrastructure bill. She's very proud of expanding broadband into more rural areas of Virginia's 10th district. And she says when she gets back to Washington to start her third term, she wants to work to continue tamping down inflation. After her speech, I had a chance to talk with her, and I asked her what she had to say in response to Governor Glenn Youngkin, who said Virginia's 10th was going to turn red and that this was part of a red wave that was speaking on behalf of parents parents and what he calls parents' rights in their child's education. Listen to what she had to say in response. That it's about so much more than that. It's about protecting our democracy. It's about, about women's reproductive health. It's about so much more than just parental, parental rights. They also know that the, the governor is trying to gin up a social and culture war in order to, to win an election, and nobody thought that was, a, that was acceptable. Hung Kao called Wexton tonight, congratulated her on her victory, and then right after that, he got on stage in front of his supporters and told them that he believes there were a lot of anomalies at certain precincts in Loudoun County and that there were still some votes left to be cast. I reached out to a public information officer with Loudoun County and asked about that, and he said he did not know what Hung Kao was referring to. Reporting in Loudoun County, Drew Wilder, News 4.